Greetings to all of you. Today, we reflect on the theme, St. Ignatius, the Pilgrim. For Ignatius, the pilgrimage was a constant search to know the will of the Father. And at the same time, it was a continuous process of exploring his inner self. When St. Ignatius began his journey, he had no idea what lay ahead of him. The evolution of Ignatius from being an initial self-centered person towards a mystic happened in his journey from Loyola to Mandresa to Las Torta to Rome. The pilgrimage was a process of purification from his inordinate attachment and disordered affections. For Ignatius, it was a journey and he realized that there is an another world within himself, the world of feelings and thoughts. The pilgrimage was a search for some deeper understanding of the meaning of his life. For Ignatius, the pilgrimage was an inward journey. An inward journey, he reached down to the innermost self of his being, of his personality, to review his choices, his dreams, his affections, and his preferences. It was a transformation from being a self-centered person to a God-centered person. He began to see in his pilgrimage the whole reality is one, united and harmonious and interconnected. God, human beings, creations and the whole cosmos was interconnected and harmonious for him. He began to see the whole reality from the perspective of God from the eyes of God. His openness to the beyond, his search for God, and his quest for truth kept him alive all his journey. He perfected the art of discernment in his journey. I would say that he underwent three conversions, intellectual conversion, moral conversion, and religious conversion. Intellectual conversion, he dropped the idea that understanding is Seeing through the mind, he changed his perspective towards seeing everything through his heart. Moral conversion. From being a scrupulous sinner of the follies of the world, he came to realize that he is an acceptable son of God being placed by his side. And religious conversion. From being a wanderer, a vagabond, he came to realize the importance of being in companionship with others friends in the Lord with a common collective dream. When he began his journey, he wanted to capture the world. But at the end of his journey, he was captured by God. Today, as we reflect on St. Ignatius the Pilgrim, we too realize that we are pilgrims in the world. Our journey is a dynamic movement towards the divine. Let us ask the base from St. Ignatius that our journey may be filled with our search for God to grow in familiarity with the Lord and to listen to the promptings of the Spirit. Thank you.